from Kate Blanchett as a monstrous maestro to Michelle Yeoh's battle through the multiverse. Women's stories are front and center in nearly every big category at this year's Academy Awards. Where your mother comes from, we didn't talk about our bodies. I think we're insisting on it. Uh, there's more and more women who are getting behind the camera making decisions. We need more of that. These films and roles reflect gains in an industry that has long relegated women to secondary roles in the shadow of men, although Hollywood remains far from a place of gender parity. I've had a couple of pictures, one including with how I met Kate 10 years ago that I wanted to make, and everybody said, we'll make it, but only for X, and if you get a man, we'll make it for Y. Todd Field directed Blanchett in Tar a film that busts open perhaps monolithic treatments of women's experiences by exploring the corrupting influence of power, no matter gender nor sexuality. A decade ago, he said he was told he could get a bigger budget for a film he was pitching if it starred a man. It's a great tradition of strong female characters and strong female leads in, 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 in movie history, you know, uh, mainly in the 1950s, you know, and, 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 and why that shifted at any point, I'm not sure of. Leading roles for women have jumped significantly in recent years, fueled in part by people demanding change in Hollywood following the Me Too revelations in 2017. You know, we need the equality for women as well, to have more representation with women, and especially older women. But the ranks of executives who greenlight films and set budgets lean heavily male, as much as 80% of film studio CEOs and senior management teams were men in 2020, according to UCLA data. Just three women have won the Oscar for Best Director in the award's 94-year history, and none were nominated this year, overlooking Sarah Polly of Women Talking and Gina Prince-Blythewood of The Woman King. Polly's film is, however, a nominee for Best Picture. Has the world changed as much as we would have liked it to? Of course not. In many ways, it's gone backwards, but I think the more we have language for things, the more we're having these conversations, the more we're finding words what, with, for what was hard to articulate. I think that's the path somewhere. Tar is competing for the same prize, alongside frontrunner Everything Everywhere All at Once. In the supporting actress race, Angela Bassett is in the running for playing Queen Ramonda in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, a Marvel superhero flick that put female warriors at the forefront. And more films centered on women are slated to reach cinemas in the coming months. They include The Marvels, a superhero film with three female leads, an adaptation of the coming-of-age novel Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, and a new take on Barbie from Oscar-nominated director Greta Gerwig. For Lupita Nyong'o, who stood alongside Bassett in Wakanda Forever, it's welcome news. It's about fighting for more seats at the table the leadership table to ensure that that becomes the norm. But it is encouraging to see so many female-led stories out there. But I wouldn't rest in our loins.